Because it stalls. <laughs> Infinite stalling for garbage? Yeah, so if, if you're not familiar with terminology, 4 wide here refers to a strategy that abuses the combo mechanic in modern Tetris games. Yeah, so basically garbage on the Tetris side is so overpowered that Tetris players will sometimes build their board strategically so that it's full of garbage, and then they just downstack it all. And uh, it can be quite overpowered. He had the all there was an all clear missed. Yeah, I'm not sure if these players but know how to recognize that's those okay. starts. He's got a nice three stair chain. Oh, that garbage for your fall. Uh, it could be okay though. Yeah, he's okay. Uh -huh. It, 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 it slows him down a lot. Yeah, he had to think about it though. There's a lot of time lost. Daniel's got a swap combo going. Well, I mean, he would have. A combo on the swap. He didn't actually. Yeah, he needs to be a lot faster on, on the Tetris side to be able to but take But Max has a T-spin set up. Let's see if he knows how to spin it right. Ooh, he got it. He so did. There, there's there's the, our first T-spin uh, of the tree. Good down stack with some clean garbage on both their sides. Okay, so Max... It's two chain. Uh, I think I have a two chain. And here comes a three chain right now. Yep. Pretty powerful. Uh, Daniel doesn't have the right of Prio setup to be able to to deflect that with the infinite offset. Well, he might have been able to stall it out. It's hard to say. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. These, these but he downstacked on his Tetris side. Yeah, effectively. So what, uh, what none of these players are doing that uh, helps a lot is what's called the back-to-back -back bonus, which is um, as long as you keep doing T-spins or full Tetris players, uh, the Tetris will reward you with more damage, more line clears. So some some players in Tetris will go like out of their way to try to preserve the back-to-back -back bonus. It's a nice three chain though. Yes, yeah, so a good three chain. Daniel again, you know, doesn't have the ability to try to infinitely delay that card from falling. And his Puyo side is looking really sweaty right now. Yeah, he's Boring saying you got you got a little bit, you got to step on the gas. So Daniel's uh, Tetris side also not looking that hot right now. He's trying to down stack. You can't, ooh, mistrap on Max's side. That's gonna slow him down. Daniel Howard. He got a, a start of a dig though. Yeah. So right now he's kind of in desperation mode right now. <laughs> but the, the Poyos are kind. He's getting what he needs. Yeah. Two I, I chain. Know, I know on, on your streams, Kane, the colors never seem to seem to follow um, what will benefit you the, the most. Every once in a while, the, the game's just like, oh, hey. I'll be nice this time, and then every other time it's just like, oh no, you, you, today you lose. Ooh, misdrop on Daniel's side, but he's able to recover from that. Like, Max's side misdrops super heavily. He's oh got all these man, on his board. <laughs> he's trying to rotate it over there. <laughs> he's that's some struggle on both sides. But he's got a nice stairs chain set up, so if he can fire this off. Think about it. Ooh, on the other direction, he's in the green. Direction. I think if he had really set that on right, he would actually had a four chain. Unfortunately. Yeah, so sometimes in, in Puyo, you just have to be confident in your chaining abilities and just um, assume that you know your, your your chain is safe. You'll see some players set up their chains way too early because they panic and think, "Oh no, this garbage is coming! It's going to cover up my chain. What am I going to do?" The max is was about fine. Taking risks, and there's certain scenarios where it's like. If you don't take this risk, you will lose. So there's no point in not taking the risk. But you have to be aware of that. So he's trying to do a a teaspoon set. I, okay, never mind. I'm not sure what, he knows what he was trying to do. He's got a oh, I thought he was gonna do a, a teaspoon single mini. Oh, not trying to swag out. The, the true swag is the teaspoon double mini. Oh yeah. Explain or, or, that or, one. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm qualified to. 
uh, I've seen the the image of it happening, and it still didn't make sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know, you know, you know what the ultimate swag strat is? It's God spin. Which one's the God spin? It, it's the one where it's basically an exercise in. Oh, the it's the, the it's giant the, it's like the, snake like, rattle and roll of Tetris setups. And you can see it basically has like these like two floating pieces up in the air. They're just there, kind of like okay. And you do these crazy spins around it. But I, I don't think we're going to see a God spin too, unfortunately. Unfortunately, if only we had uh, some Wombo in this tourney. If we had some Wombo in this tourney, oh boy, I'm not sure what all Wombo the players are in for. Oh, is he gonna do a nice single? Oh, all right, Aww. two chains. No, Get a really four. nice single chain though. So that's one thing in Poyo. You don't. You can single chain, and it still can be good, but you have to do it strategically because color bonuses um, give you a multiplier. Yeah. So even for like a two chain like this, if you have a, a, a two color bonus or something, um, you do a lot more than just an additive amount of garbage. So you can have really, really strong two and three chains. Yeah. That... So the the things that add on to the amount of your score and the amount of garbage you send. Um, first of all, is like you said, the amount of different colors pops. Um, the other thing is the amount of prios that you pop and pull in each stage of your chain. And the third one is the amount of different groups of prios that you have. It's like different groups of four or more. And, you, and in, in English community, we kind of generalize uh, all the mechanics into what we call power chains. Many T spin single. There we go. Yeah. Oh, denied the all clear. Rip. You gotta be aware of those. If you yeah. see the all clear coming up, then you can. Uh, yeah, and Max be strategic is on the, the Tetris board. Right now. Going out of camp setup right now. So here comes that all clear bonus plus a two chain. Yeah, so you can see instantly a rock of garbage being sent. Max but he swapped just, it. Yeah. Stall it out. Absorbed it on the Tetris board, side. Where, you know, that is definitely not deadly. Daniel, however, uh, trying to pressure Max super close to the top of the board right now. See, Max is, uh, feel the super jagged right now. He's getting all those LNJ pieces and doesn't have many places to put them. Man, you have to be very, uh, intentional with how you use your pieces at the top as well as just being flexible it's like if you are able to make t spins and whatnot or s and j spins to repair your board you're gonna be in a lot better shape than if you're just trying to shove pieces into the hole to make it work yeah not only that but you you, you want to try to apply like offensive or defensive pressure to your opponent so you don't get any funny ideas and try to kill you with you know like a back-to-back -back tetris something along those lines yeah like if you see that your opponent's got a tetris coming up you better have something prepared to counter it if you can't absorb it <clears throat> here we go both players on tetris side pretty close to the top of the board here dan like with down stack with a lot of garbage and Daniel gets a really nice uh, chain going on before the the timer switches over. Uh, that could spell the end of Max. Let's see what Max does over here. Chain a little bit slowly. Ooh, here's a nice uh, two chain or three chain. Sorry. <laughs> Daniel here abusing that infinite offset mechanic, opting instead to take that garbage on on the Tetra side. Ooh, bad miss drop. Ooh, it's rough. Max, on the other hand, struggling, doesn't have the right pieces to be able to survive, potentially. Oh. There we go, he found a way. Oh, but that is not going to work out. Yeah, there's still all those uh, really awkwardly placed uh, holes that are one, one uh, column deep. Makes down stacking super difficult. Here we go, Daniel is now on match points. Alright, so Max is setting up a stairs chain again, and Daniel is... Doing another instinct chain, I guess. Yeah, that's, I he's, guess, he's the, just, the best way to, mash, to describe it. He's just trying to mash colors together, but you can't move here. So here's a, here's a he power a chain. He got a nice Daniel. power, too. Yeah. That and was Max a good chain. super high, and because you see all his guards pre-owned in his fourth column, he can't access the right side of his board anymore. So that could be really awkward down the line. Yeah, like, the garbage there is... 
He's got Poyos to access, but at the same time, he's got large portions of the board that he can't access, so... Right, so if, if he gets, like, good, a bad, bad color RNG, you know, doesn't have much choice of, of where to put, put the pieces that he doesn't need, cover up the pieces that he wants to keep. And Max is not doing so hot on the Tetris he side, either. Swap combo writing up. Let's see if he's fast enough to take advantage of it. Here it goes. You got a, a one got combo. One. Here's more. Oh, Max That's enough. struggling. Yep. Daniel taking it with a resounding win.